Hello everybody and welcome back to Sandstone. So I got everything kind of put away and everything. And look at this, we got five diamonds. We're gonna do something with those here in a minute. Um, got a decent amount of um, cobblestone, coal. Yeah, I got some wood going and I've got a bunch of wood too. Down here in the tree farm I can, I can, um, cut down as well uh, need to next time we go up to the uh, the monument we'll take those with us and put it in the uh, put them on those uh, frames okay so first things first uh, well let me show you down here I put every put most all, all this stuff down here so we've got all of our weapons and ish kind of stuff down here yeah I've got it in a bow I need to get, if I can get enough iron, maybe just digging around and stuff, I'll be able to uh, uh, make an anvil or I can start combining stuff. That would be really nice and so I can keep the enchantments. Armor, that really hasn't changed much. Uh, I put the, the potions here. So that's kind of our food situation. Not really too bad. We've got dirt here yeah this is going to be important for us here in a minute I'm going to show you why uh, first things first I want to make a a pick there we go another right pick so this that should serve us really well especially on uh, this is a special one I'm not putting it down in the tools that that's special that goes right there yeah another right pick that's nice one that really makes me happy <laughs> as long as I could keep it but I do got a totem of undying so next dungeon we go into which would be dungeon 2 which I think is this one over here and I have absolutely no uh, recollection of what that dungeon is about. It just, I remember this one over here, this evil one here. I remember that uh, because of, oh, it's just evil. That's why. I just remember it fairly well. Uh, okay. Three iron. I'm gonna yeah this is a I think this will be important because it's gonna be a not only a tool but a weapon now if you've played uh, skyblock you know that if you can make a cauldron and fill it full of water one cauldron equals one bucket of water that's that's a skyblock standard at least in Bedrock Edition. I'm assuming it's the same in, uh, it's the same in uh, Java as well, but I won't swear to it. But anyways, look what we have here. We've got cal cauldrons with water in them. Look at that. I was down here putting away this uh, nether wart that we got over there at the spider dungeon. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, that's full of water. I can get a bucket of water out of here. And another trick you can do is you can put water in these from water bottles. Like that. So we got two buckets of water. So you know what that means. Uh, let's see. Where, um... Hmm. How about like that? Okay, one bucket of water there. One bucket of water there. Guess what? 
We have an infinite water source. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, these aren't, that's not really water. That's sneaky. Oh, that worked. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, I wasted that. What was that in there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was just colored water. Oh, I am such a dummy. Was that that magma juice stuff? Well, that didn't give us anything. Oh, yes, it did. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, what was that? Ah! Oh, she, that was his regular water, I, I hope. I should have checked that first. I did not even think about that. We'll take those with us here. Oh, man. I want to see what this makes. Oh, there's no water in there. Well, we can fix that. Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, I could just do the do it out of the out of here too, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, I already had some in here. Okay. Uh, let's do that. And let's get some uh, redstone. So that's why redstone's down here. Ooh. Can we not get redstone with a uh, gold pickaxe? I guess you can. It's quite a bit here. More than we're probably going to need. Now what I can do, since I have an infinite water source, I'm going to take this water upstairs and um, uh, see what this gives us. Take this water upstairs and make an infinite water source outside and then I can have a proper, uh, proper garden going. So what is this? Okay, potion of fire resistance. So, um, oh, I already, no, here they are. So you know what? We've got that empty spawner, right? If these, if this silverfish drops those, uh, see that drops sugar. Oh, okay. This guy, I think drops sugar. Is that right? No, saccharide would probably drop sugar. I think the silverfish drops that. Uh, yeah, oh, that is super helpful. Yeah, yeah, because if we fall in lava, we're good to go. Yeah, eight minutes, too. That's definitely, and we got regeneration here that we can do for two minutes as well. I'm going to, I'll brew that up off camera. I'm going to take these upstairs. Uh, blaze powder, we'll, we'll leave that for powering them on. Okay, I'm going to take these uh, spawn eggs with me upstairs as well. Um, oh, I didn't, I haven't redone that. I, I need to do that. I got so excited about, uh, about the infinite water, which I forgot to get, of course, because I'm dumb. Or water, forgot to get water. <laughs> This is a game changer because we can take this bucket with us and any lava or uh, anything like that we can have obsid obsidian it and uh, we won't have to worry about it those fire bugs we, we've got the uh, nice eight minutes worth of fire resist potions so yeah 
Let's see. Let's put these in here. And let's just do that. What did I do with the other spawn eggs? Yeah, yeah, I put them here. I'm not, I don't remember what these... I know this guy dropped this this right here, which I don't think is very useful. Um, I don't remember what those guys dropped. Smoke cloud, I have no idea what that is. Saccharide, I'm assuming, drops sugar, because saccharin is sugar. Silver fish, uh, and if you don't know what that's from, that's... Uh, who is it? Uh... Joe, Joe Hills. I think that's I think that's a Joe Hills reference there. Uh, I think he says silverfish. Although it could be Vex as well. Maybe that's a reference to Vex. I don't know. It's one of those guys. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's go this way. I only need one bucket of water for this, so. And you know what I can do now that I have water? And I'll make an infinite water source here, too. Oh, it's nighttime. I'll make an infinite water source here, too. Probably just right here would be war good, I think. I tried to light this area up pretty much. I think they're over there. They're not going to bug us too much. I, I lit up this area here uh, just to keep the spawns down from over here. Now, I didn't light up next to the... Next to the... Um, the spawner there because, you know, I don't want to... I want them guys to spawn when I'm over there. Uh, but yes, once I get a, a infinite water source set up here, I can make a proper uh, mob farm over there. Now that I got water, I can move the mobs around. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Two, three, four. Uh, how about over here? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Oh, I didn't bring my, uh, If you hear any background noise, I got my window open. It's really nice outside. So, uh, yeah, sandy dirt, we can use that. So, if there's any background uh, noise, just apologize. They might, I don't know if the lawn people are gonna be here or not. need to make a shovel, I guess, don't I? All right. That's oh, turning daytime. Yeah, this is a fairly safe area now that I've lit, lit it up pretty much. Not too... You get the... Every once in a while you get a stray guy coming in, but... 
really nothing too bad at all. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough dirt or not. Might have to rob some more graves. And I'm gonna have to get rid of this. This tree here. And take that dirt. Got tons of gold. Dirt's really not a problem. That spider dungeon over there has just absolutely tons of, tons of, um, oh, here we go. Got soft dirt here. Uh, got tons of soft dirt, so we probably really don't need to dig up anybody else's grave here. And of course, I got this stuff upstairs too. All right, so just one more section here. Uh, you know what? Wasting my pick, aren't I? And I'll need to relocate this guy as well. I'm going to dig around here and put a fence around it so we don't get mobs jumping up and down on it and tearing the place up. Tearing up the, uh, the farm. Okay, yeah, let's go upstairs real quick. And I, for I forgot my hoe. And I actually want to dig up all that stuff up there anyways. Make the I'm going to make this into the my my full storage room so uh, uh, where's, okay I need that uh, let's make a shovel here I don't I don't know why I don't have one weird. Nope, that's not the right way. You can't uh, open those when you got something in your hand. Is that the way it is for reg for regular chests too? No, that works for regular chests. It's just those special ones. Throws those in there. Uh, I think I'll plant the carrots. They're not very good food, but you don't have to cook them in a, in, in a pinch. It definitely would help. Mm, yeah, I don't need those here. Uh, saplings need to go downstairs. I need to plant those. I can plant some wheat. That might be good. Okay, there's some more soft dirt. You know what, I'll set up a, a proper pumpkin farm and melon farm off camera. Let me just go ahead and, and plant this stuff here. Okay, that should do it, I think. 
And like I said, I, I'm going to uh, set up an infinite water source down there. And of course, we'll be taking the bucket with us when we go because uh, it's, uh, it's just a necessary thing when you're doing this sort of sort of stuff. Uh, it can also serve as a, uh, as a as a defense because you can put it down and uh, keep mobs from you, you know, under certain circumstances. Oh, that's uh, I think that might be too long, right? One, two, three. No, 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 that's right. It's different color kind of dirts throwing me off. Oh, we get roots from that. Okay. I didn't realize that. Does this stuff not say... Oh, I don't think this... Yeah, this uh, this stuff, it doesn't look like it stays... Uh, it doesn't look like it stays when you, when you do it. So it is like soul sand, basically. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, uh, put a, um, I'll have to maybe just get some regular dirt for this guy instead of this soft dirt stuff. But that looks like it's working. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I'll just rob some more of these, rob another one of these graves around here. Get some, get some dirt, some regular dirt. But this will get us started here at least. And I'll put a fence around it and kind of get it squared away. Where's our wheat? Did I not bring it? Oh, I didn't bring it, did I? Okay, well, like I said, I can do this all off camera. And in fact, I'll dig this up for right now. And uh, I'll put some of that uh, regular dirt in there. Because that looks like that's working just fine. Alrighty, well, I think we made some uh, nice progress here on the on the base. Yeah, we're getting getting pretty close to to heading out. Hanging roots. I wonder what those are useful for, if anything. Got some gold. Let's see, those can go in there. Yeah, I think off camera I may uh, I may play around with this and see if I can build some sort of um, mob regular old mob farm with it uh, since we've got infinite water now so yeah we're in uh, I think pretty decent shape here let me grab uh, some of these extra blocks here uh, can we make can we use this to make no we can't all right Got chiseled sandstone, smooth sandstone. Yeah, let's go with the smooth sandstone. So yeah, I'll play around with that because having that fertilizer would be would be nice. Having a good supply of that fertilizer, because that way we, I could whip up a whole a uh, whole bunch of. Um, like you know potatoes bake them up have a whole get a whole stack going potatoes are good saturation so yeah they're they're definitely a, a good one to, a good one to get uh, alrighty so I can expand my storage room out there 
Now, uh, I wonder if I can... There shouldn't be any lava underneath that. You've got a block right there. You know what? Let's, uh... I may regret this, but let's, uh... Just in case... Uh, just in case. Can we not get it with uh, another right pick? Surely you can, right? Or is it just a diamond pick? Well, it takes a long time, doesn't it? No, you can't. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't realize that. So is it only a diamond pick? Huh. Interesting. I guess I should have realized since it took so long to, to do it. You're probably saying, you wasted that. <laughs> I mean, look at, there's a whole bunch of it up here. I'll have to, if I get more diamonds, I'll have to uh, see if I can dig some of this out. Or, or is it fake? You know what? I bet it's fake, right? It's not real. It's not real uh, scrap. I bet you that's what it is. But I don't have qu quite enough diamonds. I need one more diamond. Make a diamond pick and then we can, we can check it and see if we can pull that out. Alrighty, well, I'm going to do a bunch of stuff off camera, kind of get prepared, and then we're going to head out here to uh, uh, dungeon number two, uh, see what B-Ran has in store for us on that one. So I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now. Hello, everybody.